Okay, so on this question, it's going to be a stat edit because we have a bunch of info. And X is the time in decades, and it says that we're going to start at the X value of 1 for 1900. So 1900 is going to be a 1, 1910 is going to be a 2, 3, 4, do we have any gaps? 5, no, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Sometimes you have to be careful because, like, I might skip a, a year, so then you don't always assume it goes in order. Okay, so we're going to be doing 1 to 12 in the L1. Um, y represents the life expectancy. So we're going to be typing 47.3, 50, all the way to 78.7. Okay, so go ahead. I'll give you a minute for the typing of the info on the chart. Okay, so it's all in my stat edit. Okay, I'm good with that. So I'm going to go y equals, well, I have something in there, so that's going to go out. I'm going to activate plot. I'm going to zoom 9. Okay, you guys know that you don't have to scroll down to 9. You can literally just go zoom and push 9, and it goes there. So I'm getting a pattern like this. And let's talk about this being time and this being life expectancy. And you remember that log shape. Okay. Um, So this one says that the experiment started. So we had to start at an x value of 1. So do you know that we aren't going to include that part of that graph, right? So if we're going to talk about domain, we aren't going to be doing that. OK, let's go stat calculate. So this is that log shape. Which option are we picking? We're picking option 9 because it's actually called the natural log option. So we're picking number 9. Okay, you should always write me, even though I don't ask, you should always write me the equation because it's part of showing your work. So if you're making mistakes later, oh, well, they, yeah, they had the wrong equation. I can see that. Okay, so what are our maneuvers again? Y equals... Copy paste, so VARS feature, VARS stat equation, it's in there. You can see how it's trying to model and fit your data. Get your points out, okay? You can't do any work with that mouse. That cursor doesn't move if, with your points in there, so. Okay, so the one question we got asked was, what's the life expectancy in the year 2030? So I have been given a year, so I have been given an X value. So if we're given an X value, we're just going to go trace, but I'm not tracing 2030. Can we convert to what they want? Um, I'm not sure about the 13 very close. 
2010 was 12. So 13 would be 2020. So 14. So this is when I say show your work or something, I need you to be doing this so I can see, well, what are you doing? Trace 14 is what I'm doing. That's it for showing your work. That's all I need. Okay, trace 14, I got an error. So I need to go back to my window, and here's why, because 14 wasn't in sight. So we'll change that to a number that's bigger than 14. Now I should be able to go there. Trace 14, 79 point, and you always go to two decimals unless it says. So this would actually round to 10 like after. Does this make sense that it's a logarithmic because your life expectancy over the time is increasing, but it's not increasing quickly, right? Life expectancy is just moving, creeping up and up as a number. So that's why it makes a log shape. Because remember, logs increase slowly, right? And exponentials can increase quickly, which is not what it's doing. 